Hello cheapskaters, welcome to my channel. I have a lot to get through today. I have one hour. It's 10, oh, what's wrong with his apron? It's 10.35 a.m. I have just got dressed, had my shower and got dressed. I've been going flat chat since seven, but I've just got dressed and I have one hour, one hour, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things on my list that need to be done and one, two, three other things that aren't on the list that I left off that have to be done today. So this is going to be a go like crazy, non-stop for one hour, see what we can get done Um video. First thing I've got to do is turn these bags inside out and pop them over to finish drying. The outsides are dry, now I've got to get the insides dry. Had them on the line and the outsides were dry. They didn't completely dry. They did dry well in the sun. Now I love these fresh and crisp bags. They keep the veggies and the fruit and the cheese. Great for cheese, so fresh for so long in the fridge that I buy them by the box store now. When they go on sale, I buy a box because I use them like crazy. I give them away as presents too. That's how that's how much I love these bags. Right now, these can go over on the sink. One can go over that mixer. I won't be using the mixer. I can go over that bottle. I can go over the tap. I just won't use the tap for a few minutes. That will get them dry in no time. Then they can go back in the drawer because I reuse them. I reuse them until they fall apart. Next one thing, list to check, is yogurt. I made this yogurt yesterday. It's not my normal recipe. It's a an EDO sachet. Because someone said to me, well, you know, EDO is just as good. Now I've never had much success with EDO. I know lots of people say they don't have success with cheapskates yogurt. But I don't have much success with EDO. This has been in for just over 24 hours, I've refilled the thermos with boiling water twice. So let's see what it's like. I'll just flip you down and we will see what it's like. But I'm not holding out much hope that it's actually going to be any good. Right. Lift it off. All right. So it, oh no, see how runny it is? I was going to say it looks like it's set, but it's not. No, it's still milk. The top is set, but the, there's not even curds in the bottom. I don't know what I do with Ezio. Ezio is the sachet of water and shake it up. All right. It won't be wasted. I will put it in the fridge and it will be used in baking. It won't be wasted. But no more easy. I've tried it again. It does not work for me. I do not know why it does not work for me. Dishwasher. All right, let's get this into the fridge. And I'll use that in baking. I'll just empty this and we'll be on to two things off. Woohoo! And it's only five minutes. How good is that? Okay. Leave the thermos to dry. Right. Next on my list. I've got to do, I've got to pack chicken, vacuum seal and pack chicken for the freezer. I've got onions to go in the slow cooker that need to be caramelised and 
I want to make some lemon butter so that I can do another lemon meringue pie. There we go. Now you can see me without being all wonky. Um, orange marmalade because the orange trees are doing really well. Got beautiful oranges. Look at that. It's off my tree. Just gorgeous. Um, and jam because we're having visitors for the weekend and I want to be able to give them some jam to take home. All right. Let's do the onions first and get them in the slow cooker because they will take till this time tomorrow probably to be done. So I'm going to need butter. Need butter. I need brown sugar. And I need both. Um, then I need the slow cooker, the crock. To put the onions in. And goodness, why is it not dark? Gosh, sorry about that. I moved out of the light. Um, a board to chop on. A knife. To slice and dice and the onions. Okay, chopping board. Oops, dropped it. There we go. Okay, we love caramelized onions. We just love them to bits. All right sip of my coffee that I made just before I turned the record button on and this is oh it's algae butter it's been in the freezer for a while so I'll switch you down so you can see what I'm doing otherwise it's very boring isn't it and there we go Put that better so you can see I don't have measurements. I'm just going to make slices of butter and then cut them into little dice. Um, and drop them in the bottom of the slow cooker, which I will then turn on so that they start melting. While I get the onions ready, should have brought the crock over the whole thing over, shouldn't I? Never mind. I've got so much going through my mind at the moment, and it's such a nice day. I don't even want to be inside. I want to be outside. I've got gardening to do. I've got things to plant and weeds to pull and spit. There we go. Um, all sorts of things to do. I don't want to be stuck inside, but this has to be done. And the sooner I get it done, and the sooner I get my other appointment over and done with, the sooner I can get outside. Because it's midwinter, and seriously, it shouldn't be this nice. But we do, we do get nice days in winter. I don't know why everyone says we don't, because we do. There we go. Last bit. Oh, just drop you in. All right, sprinkle of brown sugar, make it a towel to wipe my hands, if I put the tea towel, I put it over here. Here we go, towel to wipe my hands. Um, this is my moo brown sugar, I love it. So there'll be a cup of dessert spoons, heaping dessert spoons. On the bottom, and some balsamic vinegar. All right, I'll bring the case over and get it warming so that the butter will be melted when the onions go in. Turn it on. Put the 
done. There we go. Okay. I don't have exact measurements for this. I eyeball this when I'm caramelising onions like this. Um, because I don't, I put them in the fridge. These won't be shelf stable. These will be going in the fridge and we will use them within a month probably. We have caramelised onions on our burgers and on chicken and on roast meat, on, on um, sausage sandwiches with hot dogs. We have them with all sorts of things. Let me get some onions. These onions were on sale a couple of weeks ago. Not, not my favourite because they're really, really big. But um, what can I say? They were like 50 cents a kilo, so I wasn't going to knock them back. See if we can save anything from this one, but I don't think we can. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. A bit earthy, that looks okay. But I won't save the rest of it. I'll pop it straight into the compost bin. with my um, V-slicer on the really thin side so that they are nice and thin slices. They'll cook down faster and they cook down more evenly too. Um, so slicing onions for caramelised onions, thin. Slice them thinly. This one's a bit dodgy too, but we'll get around it, I'm sure. Okay. peeling onions. I hate wasting onion, which is why I fuss about the peel. Anyway, so do this. Gosh. I'm a bit excited for August because if you've been around for a while, you will know that August is our birthday month for Cheapskates. Cheapskates Club has been around for a long time. A very long time. A very, very long time. <laughs> Um, oh, here's another. Let's see if this one's better. Oh, brown skin. Tough. Tough, 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 tough. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I've got my glasses on because these onions are rather pungent. Did you see on the news the um the news last week? Where someone's invented or created or discovered or genetically modified onions to be um, um, tear proof. Tear proof, is that the word I want? So they don't make you cry? I'm like, really? Because isn't that what gives the onion its flavour? Do these few and see how it fills up the crock. Your slow cooker always works best if it's full. Um, but I don't have a smaller one anymore. I used to have a smaller one. And the crock broke after about 25 years of constant use, which made me very, very sad because I loved it to death. 
and it was just a little three litre one and it was perfect for jobs like this now I've got this big one which is fine well make do come on skin peel whatever you want to call yourself I don't want I want the rings I don't want to slice the onion to get the peel on so there we go all right our best lemons so we've been around for hmm i wonder if anyone can remember or anyone knows how long we've been around how long cheapskates has been in existence it's a long time a long long time there we go that was easy this one is easy yes Okay, oh, my hands are going to sting quite crazy. All right, let me get the slicer out. And yes, I keep it in the box. I keep it in the box because it's safer. Because I keep it in the cupboard. Back. Um, I know a lot of people are scared of them. I've never cut myself on it. Now I've probably gone and what will happen today? <laughs> I'll cut myself. And that's the thick side. Let me turn it over for the Okay. This is the thick side. This is the thin side. Okay. Alright. It's warming up. Onion. Bring this over so you can see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to slice straight into the crock. And then slice. I'll show you how thin these are in just a second, but they are, what's the same, paper thin? They're really good. They cook down so nicely. You see, very, very thin. So they will cook down beautifully. Beautifully. Let's try this. Just one way I'm using of preserving to preserve um, the 20 kilos of onions that we have or had. Well, we have, we still have them. Um, some of them have been sliced and frozen, some have been diced and frozen. And a few will be. I'll do more later in the year, close to Christmas, to put in the Christmas hampers, the food hampers that I do. They are always popular. Those and the mustard. So caramelized onions and the mustard always go well in the hampers. Everybody seems to like them. Things that I am. Oh, that's hot. 
get asked about the most often am I going to be making them this year? So, It'll be about a half o'clock. I could probably do a few more. I'll see if I feel. This will probably be now for us for the next month or so. them a stir. Give them a bit of a stir. You can see. It's about you know, half full of really nice fine onion. The butter's starting to melt and the sugar's starting to melt into the balsamic. Beautiful. Okay. They can sit there. Put this away until I'm ready to wash up. And that's another thing off the list. Right. I'll move this so that. Get a mat out so it doesn't mark on the bench. And I'll just leave it. Over here to cook away. the um, camera cord so there we go done right okay the um, trick to get the onions smell off your hands um, it's a really easy trick I just put a little bit of hand wash on there um, and I'll wet them and then I'll rub them over the sink over the stainless steel sink no more onion smell on my hands it's wonderful it's super easy works every time super simple really easy you used to be able to buy a thing called stainless steel soap and it wasn't soap for cleaning stainless steel it was actually like a stainless steel block that you could um oh, my hair's getting my face that you could use to wash your hands rub them over the sink it does the same thing or over a tap it does the same thing Okay, rhubarb, pickled rhubarb. Okay, I have rhubarb in the fridge. I need 500 grams to do a single recipe, so let me get the scale out. Vinegar, sugar, and salt. 
Salt, sugar, a measuring cup, and a pot. Still need celery to process, guys. That has to be done today, too. That's a must. Okay, it says 500 grams of rhubarb. Need a bit more, there's only 400 there. So, let's see. It has more. I preach. It has more. Let's need the chopping board. Grams or just over 550. I don't think it's going to panically pour that much tissue. It has been washed, but I will just wash it off again and then we can cut it up. Cut it, I'll be back in a second. Beautiful morning this morning. Um, sun shining, but there's a breeze. So I got up and got up and put the washing machine on and washed all the towels. And they are out there flapping away. Just gorgeous. My mum used to always say windy day was a good blanket day. If you have blankets, you wash them on a windy day. Little bit, and there, a bit of a out. Um, use the scissors to cut it into chunks. Okay, All right. Let me pop you back down again so you can see what I'm doing. That helps, doesn't that? Okay, let's use kitchen scissors and just little chunks. Just like so. There probably is an easier way to do it or a faster way to do it. But this works. Now for, for pickled rhubarb, sometimes I will do bigger chunks like so. So they're like, you know, probably two centimetres or so. And they're all right for munching on, for nibbling on. These small ones go perfectly with a cube of cheese. So you pick up a cube of cheese, pick up a piece of rhubarb, pop them in your mouth. The taste sensation is amazing. You will love it. I have to give thanks to my friend Carol for putting me onto pickled rhubarb. Oh, so, so good. I'd never heard of it. Never heard of it. And I went, pickled rib, really? I was a bit dubious and then she brought me some. Oh, it was so good. So now it's a competition between Wayne and I to see who gets the rhubarb because he likes rhubarb for pies and crumbles and I don't like it for pickles. All right. I need a saucepan because I'm going to put some things on the stove. Where's my pot? Here's my pot. Don't need the scales at the moment. 
side three quarters of a cup of cider vinegar My handy dandy apple green tupperware measuring cups I don't know what I'd do without these I would be oh, I'd be heartbroken if anything ever happened to them I have a set the same in the camper actually that I picked up pop shop I think. Um, a tablespoon of sugar this is my handy dandy simply too good measuring spoon tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of salt I just use cooking salt um, I am allergic to iodine so table salt if it's pure salt I can tolerate it but I do not like I don't like salt because for so long salt made me sick but we didn't know we didn't know it was salt that was making me sick and then I need one and a half cups of water one I can eyeball it What I haven't done is put the jars in the oven to sterilize. So oven on live tray out. They've all been washed. I washed them all up yesterday. I went out to the um, canning shed and brought in a whole heap of jars and things yesterday. So they're all nice and clean. I haven't put them in the oven yet. I forgot. Okay, well, that was a bit of a mistake. They will probably be enough for two jars. These are just old salsa jars that I am reusing. They can go in the oven. So while I'm waiting for those to sterilise, I will put this away and I will put the salt and the cider vinegar away because we don't need those anymore. Maybe I'll put the salt away. I couldn't tell me I broke it. No, I didn't break it. I need to get into a jar. I only use, I only use salt for making pickles. I don't put it in anything else. Okay. That's all right. That goes in the sink. That goes in the sink. That goes in the compost. butter for lemon butter I think I need 125 grams that's more than the um fridge don't think i need butter for anything else at the moment and i need three eggs three three eggs 
three eggs. Okay. Nice, three nice eggs there. Let me put this. Is the um, six minute lemon butter off our website, off the Cheapskates Club website. So if you need the recipe, you can go to the Cheapskates Club and type lemon butter in the um, search and it will come up. And there's step by step. I've also shown it, I've shown a video on making it before too, I'm pretty sure. I find that I put the link below and I need to make a note of that don't I who took my pen oh the sharpie that's my favorite um link to video and website I don't write myself a note I'll forget as you probably know if you've asked me for something and I haven't made a note all right I need a half a cup of lemon juice. All right, so I have some trusty lemons here. Some lovely lemons here. And I'm just going to pop them in the microwave for about yeah, 20 seconds. Get more juice out of them. one cup of sugar the recipe says caster sugar I don't use caster sugar I just use ordinary white granulated sugar um, it dissolves just as well it works really really well okay the other thing I do with lemons before I squeeze them is I rub them over or roll them over um, the breadboard, I just roll them a few times around the bed, breadboard like this, like you're rolling, I don't know, sausages or something, dough, whatever. And it just helps release the juice because we want to get as much juice as we can out of them. Now, these are, these are free lemons because they were, um, I picked them up off the ground on our walk. They've fallen off a tree over onto the bike path and everybody was just walking past them and ignoring them and I've gone, really? Free food, folks. So, picked some up and brought them home. Next time I took a bag with me to pick them up. Um, all right, there we go. Now, I won't be throwing these peels out. I will be putting them in the dishwasher to freshen the dishwasher. You could also, there's not quite half a cup there, you could also, if you wanted to, put them, take the um, fruit and the, the pulp and the pith off and, oh, this one's not very juicy, and put them in vinegar the citrus cleaner but I just toss them in the bottom of the dishwasher next time I run the dishwasher they will go through the cycle of you the dishes are lemon rinse and they clean the inside of the dishwasher then they'll go in the compost someone's going to say oh you shouldn't put them in the compost because they've had detergent on them well you know what detergent's probably been rinsed off well and surely one's a bit dry too. Maybe that's why they're on the ground. Oh no, coming out. 
pretty sure that's got to be at least a half a cup. And while I'm thinking of it, I will go and put them in the dishwasher right now. I just toss them in the bottom. I don't um, do anything fancy. And they will. Um, oh, yum. Lemon. Oh, yum, lemon. Oh, that's very, very lemony lemon. That's good. Okay. Oh, I'm cheat out because I need sugar. I still have a few minutes to go on those jars. So I'll keep going with this while we're waiting for the jars to sterilize. Recipe says. Give it a bowl. bowl. Three eggs. It uses whole eggs. Um, if I was going to make a lemon meringue pie, which I am going to do, I think. I will just use the yolks. Now I'm cracking the eggs into that can go in there because it has to get whipped up. Cracking the eggs into a separate bowl. Just in case. I always do. There's nothing worse than cracking an egg into a mixture and it being off. So I'm just going to use the yolks. It, the lemon butter will be fine with just the yolks. Oh no, that was silly. Well, that one's going to have lemon juice in it, isn't it? Have an egg white in it. Oh, without even thinking. Never mind. This is real life, folks. This is how I operate. Okay. In we go. Well, in that case, we'll just do them all in. Uh, dirty dishes for nothing. Okay. Mixer. Beaters. Beat the eggs till fluffy. White and fluffy. That's what it says to do. Um, I like them to be... Um, really light and fluffy. So here we go. And I will show you what I mean by that. Get rid of that lemon juice. Done. Alright. See? Eggs bowl. Okay. Next, we've got sugar. 
not working very well today. I usually get everything out before I need it. I didn't today, did I? Oops. That was a mistake. Not to worry. Sugar. <sighs> okay. I hear there's a panic on sugar too. That's one cup of sugar. Panic on sugar too, for some reason. People seem to think that ah, sugar's it has gone up in price. Add it a bit at a time. Stir it in. Feed it in. So did it dissolve. You want the sugar to be completely dissolved. And you'll know because there won't be any little grains sticking to the side of the bowl. If I can see there's still sugar in there, it's not dissolved yet, so we'll just keep on beating. Beating, beating, beating. I'm going to use this, it won't be lemon butter for, no, I'm going to use it as pie filling, I've decided. I've got a pie grain case here from Woolworths to try. Um, so I've not had one of these before, so I'm going to try it and see how it works. But it was quite expensive, it was nearly four dollars, so it wasn't cheap. That's just what it looks like. Um I think the woolly box. Oh, turn around, huh? There's the woolly box. So I thought I'll give it a try. It's a bit like I think it's going to be a bit like the custard tart pastry. When you, you know when you buy a custard tart from the bakery, it has that lovely sweet shortcut pastry. I can't make pastry. I do the easy pastry from our website. No problem. No, no problem. But um, anything else is shocking. All right. You can hear the beaters are working hard now because it's got really thick. But it's still not dissolved, so we're going to keep on stirring. Let me get a spoon. A little bit on a spoon and see if I can feel any grains in it. And there's still there's still sugar in there. Sugar granules in there, so we keep on stirring. If you use caster sugar, it will probably be dissolved by now. I could have whizzed it in the food processor to make caster sugar. There's one more gadget I had to get out, one more thing to clean up. And I've only got 10 minutes to go, so lucky this is 6 minute lemon butter. Okay. Let me see. Scrape down the side what it's like. Still a little bit grainy. All right, let's go.
can you <laughs> let me stop it and I'll show you how thick it is. You see how deliciously thick it is? It's like a almost like a custard. Scrape that off. And a little sugar. Okay, let's add the lemon juice. to melt over the top so it doesn't spatter in the microwave okay eggshells can go in the compost today do not need them for the garden at this point in time Then I can put the sugar away. Put that back up there so it doesn't get broken. Did you all see I just burped that lid? Um, it's, it was a square lid on my Tupperware container. Square lids aren't meant to be burped, but things like sugar and flour that I want to keep bugs out of, if any just happen to creep into the pantry, I always burp them. As a general rule, if it's a round lid, you burp it. If it's a square lid or a rectangular lid, you don't. Um, mainly because round things are usually for... Um, foods that need to um, be airtight, square things, square containers are for foods that aren't, if that makes sense. Okie dokie. Melted butter. Okay, I need to put these back on because I've got to beat the butter in. Dozy. I'm trying to get ahead of myself because I'm looking at the clock in the year, I'm running out of time. I'm not going to get everything done. Into the microwave for two minutes and I will give it a stir and then another two minutes give it a stir another two minutes if we're done right okay so let's do some cleaning Finish the rest of my components. At the very least, I'll have to do the ugly chicken. At the very least, um, because the finger was on that. It needs to be processed.
on. Dry. Right. Told you those plastic bags are dry no time. Fresh and crisp, turn them out the right way, and they're ready to use. I just fold them up and put them in the bottom drawer. Pull one out as I need it. The other thing I don't worry about these days is size. It would have one carrot in it, it would have 20 apples. I just buy the one size bag. It saves a lot of fussing and a lot of storage real estate in the cupboard. Okay, that needs to be stirred down. Thickened up, it's all curdy, it's so good. There's a bit of a pip in there, I think. I think I saw a pip. I'm a pip. Okay, two more minutes in the microwave. lemon bar starting to take on that deep yellow golden yellow of good lemon butter so we'll stir it down see how it's darkening oh you can't see sorry i need to get better at switching don't i you see how it's changing color it smells really good i love lemon butter it smells great all right really good stir the stage and back into the microwave two more minutes and it is done Now I 
make sure the salt and the sugar have dissolved. Bring that to a boil. Get out my funnel and my spoon and the jars. Like you can make your jar. Okay. Yep. Just making sure I'm not leading you astray. Because, you know, I've been known to do things on autopilot. I do things on autopilot and forget that you're not following my train of thought the way I am. So. Coffee still hot. Handy dandy ember mug. Best Christmas present ever. Love it. All right. Well, I don't know whether I will get back to finish the other things. I've still got marmalade, jam, the chicken to do. I need to get pizza bases made. I want to do pancakes and muffins. For breakfast, we need some breakfast foods other than cereals like Fruity Bix, which we love, but they're expensive. And as a treat, they're okay. Or oats, because I'm really the only one that likes porridge. So, oh, oh my dear aunt. Oh, this is just perfect. Okay, okay, okay. I'll show you. I don't know if I can without burning myself because the bowl is quite warm. Have a look at that. Ah, oh, gorgeous. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. So, so easy. Like I said, if you want the recipe, it's on our website. You go to the Chief Fats Club. Dot net or cheapskates.com.au either will get you there and in the search bar which is at the top right of your screen you can type in lemon butter or six minute lemon butter and it will come up this is a favorite i'm going to let this cool just a little bit i'm actually going to hmm. a good cook always tastes doesn't she or he don't they so I'm going to just give it a little taste oh my gosh it's sweet but that those tart lemons you've got the sweet but the tart but the tart is sweet I don't know how to explain it. it's really good okay when that cools a little bit It'll start to thicken and I just want it to cool a little bit so I can put it into that pie flan. If I keep stirring it, it'll cool faster. How's the brine going? Not quite, not quite boiling yet. All right. Jars from the oven. Rhubarb. I'm putting hot syrup, um, a hot pickling juice into hot jars because I don't want to in shop. And I'm leaving about a quarter inch headspace. These won't be processed as in hot water bath or anything like that. They go straight into the fridge. I need three thousand. I need more. Okay. 
wax will wipe it in. This pickle is, it is ready to eat. It is ready to eat as soon as it's cold. So I can put the brine in now, hot brine and hot jars, no thermal shock. And as soon as it's cold, so put it in the fridge a couple of hours, it'll be cold, it'll be chilled, it's ready to eat. But it does get better with age. Okay. Well, when the mixture's cooling, I've gone over by five minutes. I'm going to be late. This is boiling. Okay. So, here we go again. Let me just dip you down again, guys. Right. When we did the kitchen, we got more bench space. Guess what? I want more bench space. I don't have enough bench space. I want more. So, please, sir, may I have more? I want more bench space. I don't take a whiff of that pickle juice. Get one. Clear your sinuses. Make a bit more brine. Which is all right because I've got to stir up some more jars. See if I can pour it in without spilling it. Oh, no, won't need to make more brine. That's it. All covered. One, two, three, lids on, lids on, lids on. And these do need to be go on tight. So normal canning, for pressure canning, you do finger tight. These we want to go on really tight. So we want them to seal. Okay. I will let them cool a little bit and put them in the fridge. Now, quickly before I go, let's deal with this lemon. Butter and get it into this pie case so that it can go in the fridge because then I have to run. Okay, Let me take out there was a seed in there. Look at that. Take out the seed, two seeds. Huh. Okay, pouring it into the plate. Into the pie shell, into the plate. Okay. There we have it. Almost full. There's a little bit left. I'll let that cool, I'll put that into a dish and we will eat that this week. Okay. So what did I get crossed off in the hour? Um, rhubarb, pickled rhubarb. Got the plastic bags dry, made the lemon butter. Is that all I did? Oh, the onions on for caramelised onions. So that's not too bad. I can go and cross some things off my list, which will make me very, very happy. And 
will just have to come back sometime later and deal with the chicken and the marmalade and the jam and the pizza bases and everything else. I didn't think I'd get it all done in an hour, but it was interesting to try and see how long it takes to do stuff when you go really fast. Okay, thank you so much for sticking with me this far. If you liked what I've done today, thumbs up would be much appreciated. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button because that really helps us and it helps you because then you'll be notified when we go live or upload a new video. If you want the recipe for the pickled rhubarb or the lemon butter, head over to our website, the Cheapskates Club, and I will put links below. I've made the notes. <laughs> so I will put links below and you can just follow those if you like. And if you know someone who might like to know about Cheapskates Club or who might like this video, there's a share button. All you have to do is click it and it will send them the link. We don't harass them. We don't send them anything else. They will never hear from us again. It's entirely up to them whether they want to watch or not. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this far. It has been, it's been real life. That's what life is like in the Armstrong household. This is a working kitchen. I'm a working wife and mum. This is how we roll. Okay. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.